πέτρα στο πηγάδι για να βρω νερό ένα χρυσό φλούρι στον άδει Okay, uh, we're going to uh, play for you in just a minute uh, a couple of folk songs, actually one folk song in different uh, arrangements and then followed by uh, another one too. Uh, when I was in Greece in 1976, uh, some time ago, uh, I, I met this wonderful man, uh, his name was Panayoti Mavromatis, and he was uh, a violinist, who taught, a self-taught violinist, and I had the pleasure of uh, visiting him and uh, recording many of his uh, folk songs, uh, folk songs from Kithera. And uh, so I'd like to now uh, play one of those um, for you. It's Den Pao Pia Stopotamo. And I'd like to read uh, a little, uh, trans not a translation, just sort of a synopsis of the, of the text of that song. A lover refuses to go to the town of Potamos, where the people laugh at him or to Karaba, where his heart is filled with pain, for they have stolen his beloved from him. In remembrance of her, he plants basilisk by her bed, drinking in its fragrance, and promises to ascend the heavens, sit on a cloud, and write of her innumerable beauties. Now this uh, version is with uh, Theo Panayoti, as I call him, who, by the way, was the uh, my mother-in-law's brother. Um, by the way, she's here today and uh, she's from Keith and I think she's the oldest living Katharian. She is now 101. And she will be 102. She is over there. With the white hair. <laughs> I don't know if she knows what, what this is all about. <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, uh, Theo Panayotis, as I, we call him, uh, is playing the violin and there's a vocal soloist uh, doing the, the folk song. So Gus, uh, let's see, here it is. smiling at me, telling me in pantomime, do not treat me as a legend or as an Egyptian mummy in the uh, pyramids. Don't forget how playful and mischievous I was, so keep it light. Nevertheless, Anna, uh, to me, represented um, somebody that we all aspire to become, in the sense that she was able to reconcile and to fuse her American identity and her, 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 her Hellenic Orthodox background. She was part of the American mainstream. An innovative teacher, she got her students to enter national competitions. She was in great command of the English language and English literature. And yet at the same time, she enjoyed the ethnicity and yet universality of her Hellenic Orthodox background, the dances, the culture, the attitude toward life, one of optimism. And um, she did that so comfortably, never feeling any conflict between the two, but fusing them uh, in her own person. I think that to me stands as the supreme achievement of Anna than any, anything else that she did 
the exter external reality in other people. Now, um, I was asked to talk about Kithira. I don't know a great deal about Kithira. I can say something about Anas Kithira. And for me to even to do that even, I would choose a song uh, that she loved. She would come for dinner uh, with George to our house. By the way, Anna was the godmother of my oldest daughter, Tula, who passed away uh, because of uh, metastatic breast cancer. Um, and I would play to her, and I could see in a glance and a wishful uh, look what Kithra meant to her. We had a, a little joke between us because the title of this song is Takithira Potelitavrube, which means we will never find Kithira. And I told her, yes, but you seem to manage to find it every year because you could go there. And so I would like to ask Taki to pray. And you can, I think this song has a kind of a, it's a distillation of what Kithira and the Hellenic heritage meant to Anna. Thank you for listening. Takira, <laughs> 